What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit since I have filmed a video, but I've had a really busy summer. I've been traveling, I've been um, doing a lot of stuff with work, and then the most recent thing is I'm actually moving into a brand new house. And what's so cool about that is I actually am going to be getting a new doll room. I'm going to be designing one from scratch, and that's really cool. But the thing about that is obviously since I've been in the process of moving and I've been really busy, I haven't had a lot of time to do anything with my dolls and I haven't had time to really film a lot with them and I also you know they've been in boxes for a while so I haven't really had an opportunity to get back full swing into my channel but I'm really excited now because I moved I am in the process of designing my new doll room and I figured this was the perfect time to come back and really kind of just catch you guys up and tell you what's going on and the exciting things that will be happening in the future so that when I do, you know, come back in full swing, which hopefully will be in the next month or so, I will kind of, you know, I won't have to explain where I've been because I know it's kind of weird when you disappear for a while and you're like, okay, where'd they go? That being said, uh, yeah, I want to catch you guys up. So first things first, like I said, I am moving. I'm super excited because this new house has all the things that I always wanted to have. Um, and that includes the perfect area for a doll room. Um, in my last doll room, which you guys have kind of seen, but you'll see a little bit more in today's video, I really had a little bit of a limitation on like the areas I could display my dolls. So I had two really long shelves and it worked out really great. Um, but I definitely want to increase the storage so that I'm able to really display all my dolls in cool situations and also be able to film and update all my dolls video where I have them all out and it's not a complete hassle. So I'm really excited about that as well. Something that I know I've been kind of doing recently and in the past is uh, filming videos about new dolls and unboxing things. And I think that's really fun and I love doing that, obviously. But I definitely have realized recently that I want to bring my channel back to the focus of what I really liked in the first place, which was why I, you know, collect dolls, what that means to me. And so I have a couple of really cool videos coming up that are cool to me. I'm um, talking about, you know, the first few dolls that I got, you know, their stories, things like that, and just really getting into that. But that is coming soon. And so today I want to show you guys the process of moving and what that looks like when you have over a hundred dolls and kind of how that process goes. So here we go. So the first thing when I moved my dolls, um, obviously they weren't the first thing that I moved into the new house because I always want to make sure I have a really safe, clean place to put them. I never want to take my dolls somewhere where I know that they're going to be in the way or they're going to be, you know, messed with and stuff. So I want to make sure everything's good. So once I had a space that I knew I could put them where they wouldn't be disturbed and I could keep them there till my doll room was ready, I started bringing them over. And since I have over a hundred dolls, that means I have over a hundred doll boxes. And I think in our trunk we could fit, I think it was 12 or 13 per trip. So it was quite a process. It was fun though, because I obviously got to see each one of my dolls individually and like, I guess kind of prioritize where I wanted them to go. So I have a giant pile of dolls now, but this is kind of showing you what the doll room looked like as I was moving. So right now it's completely empty on the shelves, but right now in the video that you're seeing, I had moved probably, I don't know, 70% of my dolls. So there's a big gap, but it was really cool to see it that way because I very rarely ever saw the shelf without dolls on it. Um, and I am gonna be taking these shelves to my new doll room, so they'll still be in my videos. I'm probably gonna make a couple more because I'm gonna have more wall space, which will be really cool. But ultimately, you know, having the space and doing this has been such a cool thing to do with my dolls. And so I'm really excited to continue the trajectory of my collection. And by that, I don't mean continuing to collect the rate I was because I'm not going to. To be honest with you guys, I haven't bought a new doll in probably six months. And I'm kind of happy about that because I feel like I still love my dolls and I still want to do things and I still want to make videos and I still want to talk about my dolls. But I think my focus and what I really want to be talking about is no longer about getting new dolls, but more about like why I like my dolls in the first place. Talking about the nostalgia with my original dolls and kind of talking about, you know, what's going on with American Girl or what's happening in the community, things like that. And being really in tune with that rather than just getting a new doll every couple months. So there's that. Um, here we have what the dolls look like in my new area. This is not my doll room. This is just my loft area that I know I can keep them here until the doll room's done. 
So the doll room is going to be in my basement. And my new basement is amazing. It's gonna be really great. The room itself is a little bit bigger than my last doll room, but the thing is half of my last doll room was a closet. So it wasn't exactly display area, but this new bedroom, I'm actually gonna have two walls that I can dedicate to shelves. So anyway, about the future of my channel and what this kind of will look like. So it's been probably a couple of years since I've been really consistent with uploading. I've just had a lot going on in to add to that, I haven't had the space in my doll room to display all my dolls at one time, so it kind of felt overwhelming, to be honest, to like do things with a lot of them. So once all the dolls are out and I'm able to see them all at one time and film stuff and really like have a designated area that's in a comfortable space that, you know, has really what I need to be creative, I think I'm going to be a lot more inclined to film more frequently. Also. I just have like a lot more creative energy in this space that I'm in now. Um, I am out in the country and I have a lot of room and a lot of space. Summertime is kind of ending and so I'll have a lot more time to just do fun things with my dolls and my videos rather than, you know, all the things and the crazy that's going on during the summer. So I'm going to basically hunker down and end up making a bunch of videos. And I'm really excited about that because honestly, I've been pretty MIA from the AG community for a while. I haven't really talked to anybody <laughs> lately and I also... I just don't really know what's going on with AG and I don't like when I get that removed. So I want to get back to having fun and doing cool things. So that being said, I've been talking forever. I am going to end it here. I will have another video up by the end of this week. I've got a few things in mind and I also have Lila and I know the new girl of the year is coming out literally this month. So I want to make sure that I open Lila before the new doll of the year comes out because I've had her in a box, haven't opened her in about six months. So that being said, I hope you guys have had a good last few months since I haven't been around and uh, I hope you're looking forward to more content and just doing fun stuff and we'll just, we'll make it fun. So also uh, subscribe if you haven't already because doll room updates, things like that will be coming soon and I'm really excited to document the journey. So anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.